guys, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and spring is almost here. Actually, technically, this week spring started, and so I've really been thinking about spring ideas, and a lot of you have been asking for a new jewelry idea, so I found something that incorporated jewelry and spring, and I'm so excited to share it with you today. You don't need very many supplies for this. Um, I found these that are adorable and came in so many different colors in the scrapbook section. So you can check in the jewelry section or the scrapbook sections for these types of things. Um, they're nice and sturdy. I'm gonna take, I think, this teal one. And you have all different options. You can make an earring out of it. You can use these little posts just like this that you get at um, a jewelry store or jewelry supply store. And you can make a hair barrette. They come with just the little post like that. You could make a ring or you could even make a necklace. They have little um, supplies just like this and they you just put a dab of glue on there and you put it on the back of something and then you string it on your necklace. So there are four different options of what you can do with these. And this one, I'm just gonna make a hair barrette. I'm just gonna use this E6000 glue, which is really messy to work with. So I usually take a um, toothpick just like this and use that, because I don't like to get the glue all over my fingers. It just likes to ooze out on its own. And then you're just going to take the flower and put the barrette on the back, just like that, and let it dry. And you want to follow the directions on the back of the glue, which I like to give it about 24 hours for it to be completely solid. Option number two I found at Michael's this week, and I it is my new favorite thing. They have these little Mod Podge molds, and right next to it, they also have the Mod Podge glue sticks that just go into your glue gun. I, I don't know what the difference is, but it's a special kind of glue. And make sure and have your coupon for that one because they are a little bit pricey. All you do is put it in your glue gun, Fill up the mold with the glue. And then I shake it down just a little bit. It's kind of hard to get the edges really good, but it turns out great on the front side anyway. So we just, it dries really, really fast. And then I found that my favorite thing to paint them with was the metallic look of spray paint. You can use craft paint, you can use spray paint, you can use whatever kind of paint you want on these. Um, I really liked the way these gold ones worked out and so these I put the necklace back on them and just used a little jump ring as well and I'm going to string those on a necklace. And same with this butterfly. Really, really love those, but this is what they look like when they come out. It's kind of hard to see the detail from far away with it being the glue color, but as soon as you paint them, the detail comes out and they look almost exactly like the ones that you buy at the store in the scrapbook section. So if you wanna have a little fun, do a little project with the kids or just to make gifts for friends and have them completely custom, I highly recommend these. The very last tip I wanted to share with you is one for packaging or to give your jewelry away. I took my handy dandy little hole punch here, a giant hole punch, and got these little circles. I just used white because it shows up the best for you guys. But as you can see, I just put my earrings on them and they work great for an earring card and they're ready to be wrapped and given away. So. Um, we haven't done quotes on my board for a while because I've been in and out of this set and um, up into other rooms of the house for different projects. So I wanted to talk about my quote today, which is grow where you are planted. And that just means that be the best person you can wherever you are. You may not be in the best circumstance in your life or your favorite place, place to live, but be a flower in whatever garden you're in at the moment and, and try to make those changes the best you can, but be a happy person. Um, when you're happy, others around you are happy. It's infectious.
my kids, my family tells me that all the time. If mom's not happy, nobody's happy. So hopefully you're happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and leave us a comment telling me uh, what quotes you like for springtime and summer and what makes you happy. And we will see you next week. Bye.